everyone, it's Faith Ravel from the Valdez Museum, and I'm here today to show you how to make a new work of art. And it is similar to this one and based on birch trees and examples that are on display currently at the Valdez Museum and created by elementary school students taught by Sue Keeney. To start, what you need is a piece of watercolor paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw or paint on that watercolor paper and a series of circles using round brushes like this and two different colors, blue and green, for example, or a couple of different blues. Then set that aside and let it dry. Then to make your trees, your birch trees, like an example right here, you'll need another sheet of paper, which is a long sheet, the same size or length as your watercolor paper, but much lighter. And you're going to tear those long birch trees down and get a natural edge. You'll get out your glue and add a little glue to it and then glue your tree, oh my gosh, that's a great big tree, onto the surface of your paper. I'm going to add three trees to the surface of my paper here. Three great big ones. Oh my gosh, they are wandering. I'm walking all over the place here <laughs> on my table. Wow, there's another one. Those are great big birch trees. And then I want one little skinny tree. Because you know in the forest sometimes the trees are not the same size. And some lean up against the others. And I'll add that to my mix. Here we go. Swoop of glue. And I'm going to make that one actually crisscross over the other trees. Usually our birch trees are pretty tall vertical stands, but I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. So you can see I've got lots of trees on the, on the page. Then I'm going to add some detail to the birch tree. You know the bark of the birch tree? Those paper birches wraps around, so I'm gonna use a dark contrasting marker to add some definition. And every once in a while, I'm going to make a horizontal dark line that has a slight curve to it on my tree. Do that quite quickly. You see how I've done that here? And then add some more lighter details on the trunk to um, indicate what the surface of a birch tree is like. Very quick little shorter lines, lighter lines. There you go, see that definition? To make those trees stand out even more from the background, I'm going to put a line right up the side of those trees. I'm gonna use the side of my marker, just like this, and go up just that one side. That's going to indicate the side that is in shade. Then finish this up on my table. Whoops. Just the suggestion of the edge of my trees. There you can see it here and then add some leaves. And the leaves are going to consist of whatever paper you have available. I have some old wrapping paper that was in my closet and I'll get out my scissors. Hearts are really easy to make. We'll make heart-shaped leaves. Nice little angle here and then turn your paper, curve it round and you've got a heart. My heart to you. I also like shiny things so I went into my drawer in my kitchen and I'll make another heart here. Nice little angle, curve my paper around, let the curve and my fingers do the work for me and make another heart. Oh my gosh, my heart is broken. I didn't pay attention. But the good thing is I can glue it back together on the page. Get out my glue stick. Figure out where I want my heart placed on that page and add it to the mix. Now use a Sharpie with a nice skinny point and add some definition to those leaves by lining first from top to bottom in the center of the tree and then fanning out from the center so that you can add definition to your leaf. Can you see that right there? There you go, beautiful one. What you'll end up with is 
a composition a little like this if you stick to silvers and blues and greens and kind of a gray marker or perhaps you'll come up with something that's much more colorful like this one right here that has some red hearts that contrast with the background. Look at how all my circles made the wind appear to blow between my birch trees. While you're sheltering in place in Alaska when the days are sunny, I hope you get a chance on occasion to get outside and be reminded of how wonderful trees are and go for a walk in the woods, see the color and shape in between trees, listen to the birds sing, and just feed and fuel your spirit. So check out the artwork made by students at the museum on our Facebook page and website, and have a fabulous day. Bye!